The Archdiocese of Chicago advocates for the beatification of the first African-American priest in the United States, who spent his pastoral time in Quincy, Illinois. As a priest in Quincy, he was known to be very pastoral. He was known to preach about hope. He preached about forgiveness. Uh, he preached about uh, the church being open to all. He was born a slave and forbidden to enter seminary in the United States, experiencing the prejudice of the time. The Franciscans arranged for him to attend seminary in Rome, Italy, and then sent him back to a segregated America at age 32 to pastor a church in Illinois. At a time when African Americans were celebrating Mass in a basement of a white church, he was one of the first priests who joined both Caucasians and African Americans in the same Mass. As far as the African American community is concerned, he's one of us. And he's a link with our ancestors who obviously bore the brunt of slavery and struggled in order to obtain freedom in our democracy. In 2010, Cardinal Francis George asked the Vatican to consider Father Tolton for sainthood, and they began a four-year research project of his life before sending the sealed and stamped dossier to the Vatican in 2014. As of now, the Vatican holds all documents necessary to declare Tolton a saint, and Chicago must be patient and wait for the final word from Pope Francis. I think that the cause for the canonization of Father Augustus is a wonderful opportunity for us, the people in the Archdiocese of Chicago. However, it is not only the people of Chicago who would benefit from Father Tolton's story. He is an example of someone who persevered and advocated for unity in times of hatred and division, which are still ever-present in our world today.